What's up guys, Jeremy from Let's Start a Pop Collection coming at you with a short video, um, a follow up to our damaged pop that came in from Hot Topic, and then a very nostalgic trip down memory lane. So stick around, you're not going to want to miss this. Alright guys, so here's what we got. You remember, uh, I think last week I showed you... Uh, this pop that came from Hot Topic that was just crushed on the bottom of the box right down here. Um, I don't know how well that comes up on camera, but great pop. Horrible packaging, pop in a bag uh, from Hot Topic. It was a pre-order item. I don't know if it's available uh, anywhere else at this point. Uh, whether it's got the Hot Topic sticker or not, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So um, I got a response back. I sent a complaint in to Hot, Top Hot Topic and sent an email in asking what recourse I had and I wanted to share with you the response that I got. So here's what I got. Got an email today. Sorry to hear that you're unhappy with the condition of the box containing your Funko Pop figure. While we can safely guarantee the physical pop itself will not arrive damaged, unfortunately some settling may occur during shipment which can result in a damaged box. So they know it's possible, but they don't care. You're more than welcome to go down to your local store and pick out the box plus pop that you like best to exchange with your damaged box and pop. Here's the kicker. Except, or as long as you didn't pay with PayPal or purchase from a third party site. I buy everything from PayPal. So I can't take this back to the store, even if I wanted to, even if I could, but I can't because like all the other Hot Topics out there, they're all closed right now. So no chance of taking it back to Hot Topic because I bought it through PayPal, so they won't exchange it. Um, or you can ship it back for a full refund. So I can ship it back to Hot Topic and request a refund, but you know, if this if this pop is unavailable or it sells out or anything like that, then I yeah I get my money back, but I don't I don't get to have the pop anymore. So um, or I got to go back on third party and buy it for triple the price. If there isn't a store near you, you're more than welcome to do a return or exchange via the online store, um, which will then what ship me one in a bag again? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. You're more than welcome to return the item back to us or a local Hot Topic store if the vinyl product inside the Funko box is damaged. Well, it's not. So, there's that. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free, please feel free to give us a call at, and then goes on and lists all the details. So, what are you going to do? I mean, what are you going to do? I, well, I can tell you exactly what I'm going to do. Number one... I'm never going to buy from Hot Topic online again. Number one. Number two, I guess I need to read in some of the fine print and details um, when purchasing. You know, I thought using PayPal was the safest way to pay, um, but apparently it prevents me from fixing these problems when they happen. So I guess I'm just kind of SOL. I will um, be on the lookout. Maybe I can order another one. From, or maybe I can pick one up in the stores when they reopen and therefore I'll have this one with the Hot Topic sticker and in good condition, the box in good condition and then I'll just take this one and keep it as an out of box pop something like that, I don't know but we'll see what happens with that it's enough about that let's get on to a really cool uh, trip down memory lane so we're going to flash all the way back to uh, 1984, 1985, possibly long before you were born watching this, uh, and maybe not. Some of you collectors that are uh, my age will remember this vividly, and some of you that are uh, younger won't know what this is at all. So um, I'm gonna try to educate best I can, but we'll see. I always thought it was pretty cool. Let me, um, I got two things here I'm gonna open for you. I have one uh, one box and one package. All right. So here's one. I I think I'll do the 
the box first. Obviously, it's a pop, so, um, and then what's in the bag goes along with the pop. So we'll get this opened here real quick and show off what we got. All right, you guys ready for this? This is so cool. All right, oh, this is cool. What does this say? Your purchase made my day. I hope this package brightens yours. Thanks. That's a really cool business card to put in there. That's a great idea. Great idea. I am working on getting some stickers printed, but it'll be a while with everything that's going on. Probably won't be ready for quite some time, but when I get them ready, I'll make sure and announce that and let everybody know. Okay, so we got a pop. What pop did we get? Flashback to 1985. 84, 85, it went on for years. The, the series went on for years, but um, one of the best characters from it, and three, two, one. Boom. We have Atom Bomb from the Garbage Pail Kids. Now, anybody who doesn't know who Garbage Pail Kids are, when I was a little kid, uh, I had a sister that was, I had a stepsister that was the same age as me, and she was all about the Cabbage Patch dolls. She loved Cabbage Patch Kids, and all that stuff and um, Garbage Pail Kids kind of came out about that same time or a little bit later after that it's kind of a counter to the to the it was a kind of the boys version of Cabbage Patch Kids with dolls and toys and trading cards so what I was able to find in this package was a 44 card set of Garbage Pail Kids from the years 1984 to 1988, I believe. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you what, what they were. So those of you who know, this will be very nostalgic. Those of you who don't know, um, will have, uh, can learn what they are. But just like, you know, I, they weren't a game like Pokemon or something like that, or Yu-Gi-Oh! or any of those things. These were just more like trading cards, like baseball cards but they were super, super cool. I'm gonna pull this down here for just a second. Put it over there where you can see it. And this is what I've got. I have 44 cards of Garbage Pail Kids. I'm gonna go through some of them. I won't, wait. I won't bore you with all 44 of them, but I'm just gonna go through and check out some of these because they're pretty cool. So we have Chris Mess. <laughs> And on the back, what do we got here? Here's what your completed blue board. Okay, so that I remember you put them all together um, and you could complete puzzles. But that's the back of that Chris Mess card. Um, you'd have Jackpot. <laughs> They're so gross. Bobby Booger. <laughs> all right, let me go through some of these that I can remember. <laughs> Wind Sheila. So for example, on the back of this one, the card looks like that, and then you collect all in this series here, and it would actually create a, a, a puzzle. This one, so the, a lot of these are, are, are actually stickers. Um, st Staple Gunther. <laughs> oh, gross. Puss Russ. <laughs> wow. Let's see what all we got here. Um, Shuffled Sherman. Man, I don't even remember a lot of these, but... Um, oh, gross. Armpit Brit. <laughs> but I just remember them being very disturbing... And my mom, I think, hated when I collected these as a kid. So, um, let's get some other one. What is that? Trash Can Ken. Here's a good one. Prickly Rick. I remember that one pretty, pretty good. Baked Jake. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to just go through some of these. Target Margaret. On the back of this one is 
Wanted for Mental Cruelty, and it's a teacher. <laughs> also guilty of the following crimes. Giving a term's worth of homework overnight, bringing new horror to the term surprise quiz, setting a role for her students to follow, bossy and boring. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got here. Stuffed Stephen. Dana Druff, Dana Druff, like dandruff, wanted for housebreaking pet dog. There is Barf and Barbara. This one's disgusting. Leaky Lindsay. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Snotty Lottie. All right, two left here. What do we got? Nailed Neil. And Brett Vett. Guys, that is just absolutely crazy. I've forgotten how much I liked these when I was a young kid. Uh, they are just as disturbing now as I remember them. And this is a... These cards have been around for over 30 years. Stickers are still there. They are. Uh, they are all stickers, and they're all in, still intact and in great condition. And that's pretty. That's pretty freaking cool. So we have Adam Baum and a 44 card set of Garbage Pail Kids. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I don't know if you guys never heard of Garbage Pail Kids. Um, that's what they are. They were trading cards or, yeah, they were trading cards and, um, collectibles when I was a kid. Loved them back then. Pretty cool now. And, um, Adam Baum. Adam Baum was one of the, um, he was sort of that, oh, I can't, I don't know what the Pokemon would be, the gold foil Charizard or something. I don't know if that's even a thing, but it's one of those... It was one of the rare ones, Adam Baum was, so always super, super rare and fun to find. But guys, this has been awesome. This has been a lot of fun for me, the second half of the video anyway. The first half stunk. What are you going to do? But hey, appreciate you joining me on this trip down memory lane and uh, hearing me rant about Hot Topic. But I appreciate you joining me. If you like the content, you know what to do. Hit that like uh, button, consider subscribing, do all those good things. And guys, appreciate all that you do, all the love and support. You know what I say. We'll see you in the next one.